designed by renowned and accomplished architect Sergio Cinelli. Welcome to House Lund. Lund is a Swedish word for tranquility and calmness. This home was inspired by Japanese and Scandinavian influences as it offers this artistic simplicity yet thought-provoking sophistication. This home is four bedrooms, 4.5 bathrooms, and the roof is about 562 square meters on a 700 square meter plot. So excited and grateful to be sharing this incredible home with you guys. Massive thanks to the listing agent Bernice for allowing us to share her beautiful listing with you guys. I'll put her details down in the description as well as the listing details in the description. We are excited about this tour. This is this is one of the special ones that we, we bring up to you guys. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's prop in. Right, as we begin this tour on the road level, this home is very deceiving as from the road level, it looks as though it's just a one leveled home, but this is very much a multi-leveled family home. It's about three levels, four if we're trying to be a little bit technical, but as you can see at this beautiful facade, to my left you have this beautiful cladding vertical members, as well as the underside of this overhang with this timber paneling. You'll see throughout this entire home the great use of different materials. To my left, you do have these beautiful staff quarters. Now, I'm not sure if you got a chance to see them, but this is probably one of the most beautiful staff quarters that we've ever seen on this channel. And then in front of us, three car parking garage. We'll show you guys on the inside what it looks like. Very neat home. And as we approach this entryway of this home, you're immediately greeted by this Japanese inspired Zen garden. When we were walking in initially and we stopped just to look at this beautiful garden, we were hearing a little bit of a, a beat, a little bit of a song in the background. It sounded like the garden was sort of singing towards us. And we were right, the garden was singing. And if you guys come a little bit closer here, you'll see there's this very cool feature, this boulder rock-like. It's actually a speaker playing music in the garden, which is something, one detail which we thought was very, very cool. And as we transcend into this entry home of this home, looking at the external facade again, well balanced, well poised. You have plenty of different materials that they, they did bring in here. You have these steel columns and beams, the underside of the overhang, this timber cladding, glass, stone in between this home. It's, it's a well balanced home in terms of the use of different materials. As we come here, this is the walk on bridge, which is over this koi pond. This is a very beautiful koi pond as it's very large, one of the largest we've seen. You'll see water features which are currently switched off at the moment, but this is in line with that Zen Japanese feeling that this home was inspired by. You'll see those glass panels here just to give you an, an extra view of the koi pond. Then joining me on the inside, you have this large pivot glass door with this aluminium framing. And as we look at this beautiful entryway, skylighting, beautiful French oak flooring, incredible ambient lighting. It's about 3.30 going on to four. So the sun is about to set in the next two or so hours. It's about to be a very special episode, excited for this one. And as we enter the side, this is a very unique addition to the home. To my right or in front of you guys, you have this home cinema snug room. As you guys will notice throughout this entire wall, and if you guys notice my voice sounding more contained, it's because of this acoustic paneling that they've used throughout this entire wall. This is the first time, this, this was imported from Spain, but this was the first time in SA that it was used in a home. And you can hear from the sound how well it works. It's a beautiful space just to be watching the kids watching a movie. Maybe you are here watching the Formula One your best teams, NBA, rugby, Champions League nights here are probably incredible. And you'll see some ambient lighting throughout, slightly slanted roof, 
bringing you guys back to the entryway of this home. Surround speakers throughout. One thing I'll mention about this home, it's a very smart home. You can control almost everything from your phone, from your lighting, blinds, security, camera, video, everything. To my left, you have very, this very cool console, but bring you guys first to the guest bedroom. To my right, you have a linen closet and you'll see a lot of use of sky lighting just to bring you that natural lighting into this beautiful home. As we enter here, in terms of the color palette, it's incredible as you have these lighter tones that promote that relaxation type of feeling in line with the Zen Japanese feeling or influence that you have. Just starting with the balcony, just to show you guys exactly where we are. This home is perfectly situated and elevated to give you this beautiful river views. This is an incredible space. You have this nice greenery. You are sort of located just in front of this fence, which gives you a nice garden area in front there, which we'll show you guys towards the end of the tour. But as you can see here, frame the see-through balustrades, giving you these endless views. Bringing everyone back inside, beautiful French oak floor finish, and as I said up here, very cozy. Bringing everyone to the bathroom. So this is a very unique setup that we've never seen before. How you have two, essentially two doors leading you into the same space. But the reason for that is that if you do have a guest situated in this room, then this would almost count as an ensuite bedroom. But if you don't have a guest, you'd have, you'd have this door closed off and then this would be essentially your powder room or guest bathroom that your guests can use while they're here. Just touching on a few details here, you have this beautiful, first time we've seen it, this Spanish imported textured tile. It's consistent throughout the, the walling of the showers, but it's just a beautiful tile with this added depth above us. Again, sky lighting, bringing you that natural lighting into this area here. Here you have this floating vanity with this very unique glass design basin here. You can almost see through it. And then you have your cola tab mixture there. Entire piece here, this entire console piece is well put together with these natural tones. And then juxtaposing that, you have these lighter tones, obscure glass for this mirror here, or this window here rather, just to bring you that natural lighting and a very, very cool detail that you have to this water closet. You have this touch screen flashing mechanism. If you wanna flush, it's not a button, but rather a touch screen button. Very cool. And then as I've said, walk-in shower, very large, finished off with this textured tile. And then you have this brush, bronze finish to the tap mixtures as well as the shower head, very large shower. And then you have this beautiful herringbone shaped tiling finish to the bottom. And then you have this reader glass just to give you that little bit of privacy. Lastly, just touching on the finishes, you have this beautiful golden finish to these handles. Everything in this home in terms of craftsmanship and high quality is impeccable. Ambient lighting here in between this beautiful cladding that they have here, almost floor to ceiling cladding that they have, and just warms up the space very well. To my left, you have a phenomenal study area. This is a very inspiring study area. Just touching on maybe the table first, with in line with this entire design of this home, the the, the main theme that is consistent throughout is just a minimalist approach towards all the spaces and you'll, you can see just with the table design, just very seamless and sleek and beautiful live edge to this timber table, stunning table here. And then the wall mounted TV, you have a little bit of a partial partitioning space here. And then from here, your views from this, from the study space is absolutely incredible. To my right, you have this very artistic open shelving just for some of your books and then wrapping around this entire wall, you have this textured wallpaper giving you that ad added texture to this entire space. Looking at the, the views from here, from here you can see the current builds from Stain City and this entire Helderfontein, sort of greenery, vegetation, wildlife. It's, it's incredible the views that you have here, aided by these see-through balustrades, giving you this endless feel of view. And one detail which I absolutely love is the, fa the fact that this this corner window or sliding door is frameless. Normally you'd have sort of a, 
a frame here holding this entire corner up but here you have this open views giving you this just seamless clean views and from here we can see this entire entertainment area bedroom level and downstairs where you have the pool side and in your small little pot pot space but I know, I know Neil would enjoy this beautiful study setup here. Maybe editing, maybe getting a few emails out. It's the perfect setup. Bringing everyone back into the inside of this home and heading to the open plan living space. Going down into the main open living space. This is such a beautiful, great room. With this roof, it's slightly slanted towards the view side. Open sliding doors giving you a seamless transition from the indoor to the outdoor. But this space is so well designed and segregated, but yet still seamless. Each space is its own space, but still that open plan design type of setup. Roche Bobois couches throughout this entire space, even the coffee table, beautiful furniture. They've, as I've said, I think if you guys have watched the, the previous video that we've done, they've mastered the, the marriage between artistic and functionality when it comes to furniture pieces. Looking at this entire wall, almost double volume ceilings, we have this very cool illustration and writing here, pointing back to that Japanese Writing this is, if you're translating it, it's peace, love, and kindness, which is very much in, in, in tandem with the whole theme of this whole home, just being zen, tranquil, and calm. Above us, you have the sky lighting, which allows natural lighting to just pour into this entire space as you are quite recessed away from the, the lighting, which is taken advantage from the covered patio. But as you guys come to see this side, there's other skylights here. And this is very smart sort of architecture and design. These skylights bring natural lighting to this space, but also these ones transfer this natural lighting further down to the pajama lounge, which we see, we will see just below. Very cool and smart use of skylighting. Here you look at this entire wall, beautiful design, use of different materials. You have this timber, vertical cladding, wall-mounted TV, and then you have this beautiful console with this beautiful sort of dark brown stone-like features. And here you have this gas fireplace, which can create such a cozy space. It is currently going into winter, so that will come very much in handy. Such a very cozy space that you have here, taking everyone further this side and speaking about fireplaces, you have this centerpiece, this beautiful artistic fireplace here with this opening here and you just light up the space. And because you have this large tube going towards the ceiling, when it is on, you're able to sort of heat up this entire space. And then as we look above us, you have surround sounds, which you can control from your phone. Just going back to the fact that this is a smart home, the, the surround sound speakers are throughout this entire home and you can control what type of music you want in each different space. Like if you want certain type of music in the gym, certain type of music in the living room space, it's all up to you. In front of us, we find this formal dining space here, table for six, but one detail I want to point out is this beautiful artistic light pen that's suspended from the ceiling. Just makes the space so elegant and just increases the ambience of the space. And then as we come here, this is a beautiful Italian Aaron kitchen. A couple of details that we're gonna sort of touch on here, which is the first time that we've seen. Firstly, looking at the cabinetry space, you have this beautiful champagne metallic finish to the panels of this cabinetry space. One, one thing I love about this finish is that if you, do, if you guys do come closer, there's, it's actually fingerprint proof. You, you, you aren't able to sort of stain it using your, finger proof, uh, your, your fingerprints, sort of just decreasing the amount of maintenance required for the paneling of this entire console, which continues this side with this paneling and very seamless finish to this entire cabinetry space. If you're wondering where the fridge is, this is a paneled-in fridge where you get the fridge and freezer 
very seamless finishes that you have here. And then as you can see, a continuation of that metallic champagne finish to the cabinetry space. Fully integrated Gagendal suite here. And I love this tinted glass that you have to the finish of this cabinetry. And as well, aided by this very cool ambient lighting in, in the cabinetry space. This allows you later in the evenings to sort of, when you're looking to sort of quiet down, slow down and just relax, just to give you that feeling that aids that. And then uh, lastly about this, this piece here, you have this very cool watch here. I'm not sure if you guys know exactly where we can get this watch, please do let us know. This is a, one of the coolest things we've seen in terms of clockwork. Sky lighting allowing you natural lighting into this kitchen space. Continuation of this light French oak finish. And then in front of us we have this Dutch design pit gas hob. We've never actually seen one of these on the channel. We've almost seen these maybe on Pinterest, Instagram, but never in real life. This is stunning. It's, it's built into an Italian laminin stone top. This is, it's a very beautiful assembly here, materials sort of complementing each other. And while you are sort of cooking here, you have this entire view of the covered patio, which we'll touch in a bit. And then you have this entire open plan view of the lounge, formal dining area, allowing you to still interact with people if you are sort of making a round of coffees. Taking everyone back to the scullery, you have this double leaf tinted glass door leading you to the scullery space, giving you plenty of real estate in terms of cabinetry space and as well as countertop space. It's more of the functional side of stuff where you have your dishwasher, laundry machine here, everything that you need in terms of functionality. And then above us, you have recessed lighting just to bring you that lighting into this space here. And then we'll touch on the garage, but before we go to the garage, I just wanna show you guys the staff quarters. And just looking throughout this home, this is a very neat home. From the back end to the front end, everything was, the attention to detail in terms of everything was there. You have this beautiful timber cladding, sort of hedging this entire space. And then you have this beautiful tree here. It's, it's such a zen moment that you have here but then leading you guys to these staff quarters. One thing I really love about these staff quarters is that they didn't shy away in terms of the quality of details. They kept in line with the main home. You'll see these finishes throughout the main home. This is just a smaller space than the main home, but in terms of finishes, they went all out here. Beautiful walling finish. You have the circular mirror and then floating vanity. Water closet to my left. Beautiful shower with this brushed bronze finish, similar to the one that we saw in the sort of guest bedroom, and then bringing everyone to the main bedroom space of this staff quarters, wall mounted TV, open shelving, just a beautiful and neat setup, which is something that I love. Taking everyone back to the scullery area. I have a question for you. Yeah. Do you think the bathroom here has a soft close? It's. I think so. So it goes in the, in the staff quarters. I think so. So if you guys do think so, pause this video, guess, then play this video, because I'm about to check. It'd be very impressive if it did, you know? I mean, yeah, it's the staff quarters. They really <laughs> went all out, so they might as well. Let us see. Soft clothes in the staff quarters. It's just... It, those small details tell you the, the intention behind this entire home and the level of detail. So the owner did build this home himself, designed and built this home. And it's just in terms of finishes, the, there was no cost spared. So taking everyone back to the kitchen space. This is the three car garage that we saw from the external facade of this home. It, this garage has a uniquely designed steel storage facility but I love the fact that it has all these open porouses which allow you to sort of see what's in the cabinetry space. And then as well, you have open shelving to my left. In front of us, you have where all the, as they say, where all the juice is. This is a full, this home, this home is essentially a 90% off the grid home. You have a 17 kVA Schneider, full inverter and battery system. You also have a 12 kilowatt solar system so you're covered with blackouts and as well as your water supply you're even covered in terms of that glass hedging this entire space but the, speaking to 
the the owner this is sort of the the elevated stage where his favorite car goes and i think i i'd agree probably placing your favorite car that there would be appropriate as you can see very neat space here three car garage and as you look at this floor you have this tarata tile here very beautiful and elegant open shelving there just to have some of your shoes if you don't want to store them inside and then bring everyone back to the internal area of this home back to the kitchen area and just bringing everyone to the covered patio space this home has everything in terms of if you're you a multi-family home or you you one of your your seasoned entertainers this home has everything you have your covered patio here prime for entertaining just maybe starting the side you have this beautiful chrome finished with this mirror finished suspended from the ceiling gas fireplace here if you do want to use this on the external or the covered patio you can use this one and you have this very cozy space here with this beautiful coffee table keeping in line in terms of the finish with the internal surfaces of the countertops it's just a continuation of that and then taking everyone on this side you have an outdoor dining room table cool detail is this very elegant and artistic light feature that you you get here suspended from the ceiling and you'll see throughout the ceiling the the surround sound continues outside here. If you're entertaining people, this is perfect. And I really love these timber panels that they have on the underside of the soffit. It creates a very light and calm and very warm mood in this entire space here, keeping in line with the Zen feel that was that they tried to achieve in, in terms of this entire home. In front of us, gas grill, coffee machine, wet bar there. Even on the outside, the countertop is beautiful. In front of us, you have this elevator which takes you from the top level to the bottom floor. It's, it's very much convenient. And then as we look here, frameless glass giving you these endless Elderfontaine views. Elderfontaine is quite a, a nice estate where you have very much a lot of amenities providing you that natural type of activities where there's walking trails, riverside retreats, some areas where kids can go out and just play around, very prime for that. And as we finish this floor, very beautiful, but next off, we're gonna go to the floor below, we will see some of the bedrooms. Let's go. See you guys already made it downstairs and this is the bedroom level where you get the main bedroom two bedrooms and then we'll show you a little bit of a surprise towards the end of the passage but as we enter this landing of this main floor of the bedrooms you'll see these very beautiful steel vertical members providing you with that sort of semi partial separation between the staircases and this floor here and then i love this timber paneling or timber cladding rather as i've said with this ambient lighting in between and then you'll see these st these these staircases have this floating effect and then you have ambient lighting underneath it just to make this space a little bit more cozy and warm approaching the main bedroom beautiful and great use of space here you have this wine almost wine storage unit here wine rack rather using this entire space on the underside of the staircase effectively and i think that's a very beautiful wine rack very beautiful i think it's so neat as well like everything else in this house and then as we go into the main bedroom repeated by this very large pivot door timber pivot door leading you to this very large main bedroom space we typically don't start with main bedrooms but we thought this would be incredible just to show first on this floor you're greeted by this small nook here couch space i really love these roche Bois couches here with this colorful trimming throughout this entire outer edge and then hedging or adjacent to these couches you have this beautiful large casaredo carpet here sort of wrapping around this entire space. It's very large and comfortable. It almost makes you feel as though you just want to take off your shoes and just start walking in between here. In front of us, as you can see, very large bedroom. If you're looking above us, you'll see very cool details. You have this cove lighting in between this bulkhead. 
lighting rail and then surround sounds in between here as well as the main space. So we've spoken about the surround sounds. It's literally in all the spaces of this home. Behind you guys, you have the uh, an entire balcony for this room. We'll, we'll finish off with that. But just then, no, just bringing everyone this side of the room. This is your cabin tree space. And one of the first impressions that you always get here is a very minimalist approach, similar to what you have in this entire home in terms of the, the philosophy and the outlook, the ideology, in terms of the design is one of just minimalism, how you can just have your open shelving here, cabinetry space, tinted glass with this ambient recessed lighting. And then this here is your hangers here. It's a very minimalist approach, which I really love in terms of the idea of it. It stops you from accumulating a lot of stuff which we typically do you know you buy a lot of stuff a lot of shoes and things that you not, tend not to wear anymore you still keep around for that odd occasion that you might use it but you actually never do so i love this approach and then as we enter this gorgeous bathroom you're greeted by this double leaf timber door allowing you to access this incredible bathroom now you also have surround sounds in this bathroom I don't think we've ever seen surround sounds in the bathroom before. No, I don't, I don't think so either. This is incredible. While you're here just chilling out, you can play your own music, which I think is very cool. But as you can see, this entire bathroom, you do have that relaxed zen feeling. Terracotta towel wrapping around this entire walling as we come here. Floating vanity, double sink, circular mirror with this beautiful, LED backlit lighting, which you can just simply switch off and on, stunning. And you have recessed lighting, which is complemented by this more bright cove lighting on the bulkhead, bringing you guys this side, standalone bath. And while you sort of bathing here, the feeling, that's one of the things that we've come to learn in terms of interior designing. It's about the feelings, how the interior designer wants you to feel in this space. And in terms of this space, the mood is a very calm one, very tranquil, which is aided by this outside area where you did have the koi pond. In front of us, you have this double shower with this privacy glass, but then coming around so you can see just the sheer scale of the shower. Let me just walk in just to show you guys how, how, how big this shower actually is. It's hedged off by this textured towel, which was imported from Spain, which we've spoken about in the guest bathroom. But as you can look, the scale is impressive. Neat outlet, beautiful herringbone finish to the tiling. And then as I've said, read the glass just to give you that privacy. In front of us, water closet just to finish everything off. Very beautiful bathroom that you have here for this main bedroom. Just to finish off this main bedroom, we're just gonna look at the balcony space and the views that you have from this main bedroom. You do have the steel column here, and then you have this opening, which you can open up just to give you this endless views, as well as we saw this in the study area, this detail without a frame here, just to give you this endless views. As you come out here, you have this beautiful balcony space. This gate in front of us does allow you access to go down to the garden space. And then as you can look here, the sound in the background, very calm, tranquil. You can hear the water sort of rushing over the rocks, surrounding birds, sun setting. No, this is beautiful. This is so beautiful. Like it's so it's in from the front and the back of the house. So it's like a consistent theme throughout. Exactly. And then let's just go back inside. From here, you can see the two bedrooms which we're about to go to. All these bedrooms do have wall mounted TVs, which give you that five star resort living type of lifestyle. Before we go into the bedroom, just to touch on a few details here, you have a pajama lounge here, red bar, open shelving. You do have a small fridge here, which I find very convenient. You don't have to go upstairs just to grab a small drink or a glass of water, surround sound, recess lighting, as well as your rail lighting as well. And when we spoke about sort of the the skylights above in the kitchen or lounge area. And I was speaking about the one on the roof level, bringing natural lighting to the lounge area. And the second skylight, which was bringing 
natural lighting into the pajama area. This is it above us here. It's it's great use of skylighting here as it does bring that natural lighting. And then this couch here, very beautiful, Roche Bobois, as we've come to expect, high quality, nothing less. In front, wall-mounted TV, and as we enter this first bedroom besides the one that we just looked at, the first of the two bedrooms this side, similar high quality finishes to this internal space, minimalist approach when it comes to the cabinetry space as you look above us. I didn't mention it in the main bedroom, aircon, beautiful setup here, large bed, spacious room here behind you guys, shower, floating vanity again with this backlit mirror and then water closet to my left or right side here, yeah, or my other left rather. <laughs> Bringing everyone outside. Throughout all these curtains and blinds, you do have an electronic setting that you can use your phone. This home is very smart. Every single thing you can control from anywhere in the world. Even these blinds, the lighting, everything really. This balcony is shared between the two rooms. Stairs leading you down to the poolside area. See-through glass here. It's, it's incredible, but maybe let's do something very unique. Let's take the balcony to the next bedroom. Entering the second bedroom, as you can see, the, the transition from outdoor to indoor, very seamless, floor to ceiling, sliding doors, and as well, similar to the previous bedroom, electronically connect, or controlled blinds here. Stepping inside, very large room, open plan. You have a couch set up here, bedroom. You even have this Casaredo carpet hedging this entire space here. Very beautiful. And I love the setup here that they have with, in terms of cabinetry space. You have open hangers here, open shelving. This is your other additional sort of cabinetry space. This side is where the bathroom begins, but then the bathroom does have natural lighting, which is through these large floor to ceiling windows here. You can even open this large window just to let in a, a little bit of fresh air. But I love the views that you have while bathing here. You have these river views and sunset views. That's incredible, really. Above, you do have a ceiling mounted TV, just so when you're sitting back, relaxing, just trying to kick back, you can have a beautiful TV set up there. To my right, shower and water closet in the same space. Again, with this reeded glass providing you that necessary privacy. Taking everyone back to the landing and the main passage connecting these two rooms together. To my right, that's where the pajama lounge is. But then I spoke about a surprise that I had for you guys is this unique addition to the home. This is the home gym spa room. This is a very, this is where all sort of the the ideologies of being a zen inspired, very calm and tranquil home comes together. First, you have these workout machines, TV, recessed lighting, surround sounds, and I've previously mentioned. This side of the wall is finished with this mirror finish, giving you that spacious illusion. Cove lighting surrounding this entire space, ambient lighting throughout this entire open shelving, cabinetry space, bringing everyone this side. This is a very beautiful space here. You have your own sauna and steam room. This is why this is called uh, the gym and spa facility or spa room rather as you do have a, a sauna and a steam room here. It's very rare that you have both in homes but you do have these amenities all to yourself which is incredible. Floating vanity here with this backlit mirror. This is a, more of your high tech mirrors where you can set your time, have a temperature, have the date and also connect to Bluetooth. In front of you guys you have this the, the, the intention to detail was is very evident in this home as you have an entire green wall there. Sometimes when you are sort of working out and you're looking at a, a blank wall, it can almost get very repetitive, very, very monotonous and very boring. So what they did have here is this beautiful green wall just to inspire and give you that tranquil feeling while you are here in the spa. So finishing off this floor, this in terms of the details, the touches, the high quality materials, it was nothing short of incredible. So to finish off this tour, I'm gonna go down to the poolside area.
finishing off this tour on the main entertainment level this is where some of the more fun amenities are in front of us full length pool with this beautiful mosaic like finish to the tiling very clear water that you have here and then i think just before we go into some of the details here just look at the external facade of this home you get this very modern architectural design to this home with very clear lines very dynamic lines and this sort of glass infill in, in between the build. Very stunning, as you can see, you can have a lot of people around here. Seating spot here, and as I've spoken about above, this elevator does take you from the top level all the way to the bottom level. If you do want your guests to take the, the lift and not go in between the home, you can easily have them go and take the lift. Very uniquely placed outdoor shower space here. It's such a beautiful moment, such an, an occasion. You can actually have so many Instagram worthy pictures just with this sh outdoor shower alone because even the backdrop is this beautiful textured tile. It's an incredible moment really that you have here in front of you guys. You also have this outdoor gas fireplace aided by this seating spot here. It's a very cozy space that you have here. To my right, these staircases that you have in front of us come all the way from the roadside level. So if you don't want your guests to either go through your house or you don't want them to use the lift, they can take the stairs to this garden space. And then you have this beautiful recessed LED lighting above here, creating a little bit of ambience and opulent feeling outside in this garden area. And that's another added amenity that you have is an actual garden space amongst all this very ultra modern home. Coming towards you guys, I've spoken about the gas bri and then the gas fireplace, but then a very cool detail which we've never seen in any of the house that we've toured is a small putt putt arena if you are. So just looking to come outside, have a, some fun. You can have this entire space just to have some putt putt. This is stunning really. It's an added amenity that you have in this home. And then you have the see-through balustrade giving you this endless view and some views of this front garden. As you guys look this side, you do have a gate which does give you private access to this garden space here. So what the owner did do was just to create his own sanctuary and garden space here where you have a bench. From the bench, you can be seated, just enjoying this entire sunset scene that you have here, the river, and just create this entire moment here. Finishing off this incredible tour that we've just done, we've learned so much from this episode, from the Japanese-inspired Zen feeling throughout, from the garden space to the Scandinavian influences. We are so grateful and thankful for this entire episode that we are able to share with you guys. Before we get out of here, massive thanks to Bernice, the listing agent for this property, for giving us this opportunity to share her listing with you guys. I'll put her details down in the description as well as the property link and information in the description. So from us, Atlas Propin, to you guys, see you next week.